Hey guys, Cory here, I, and I'm an arena junkie. We're gonna grab another road draft today. Because we did so well with the last one. Ouch! All of these are terrible, except for the blood knife. Oh. Assassin's Blade is good. I maybe should have considered the sprint there. Um, Between all of these, I think we'll grab the ogre. Imp Master's good. Tazdingo. Ooh. Cult Master is good, but I like Betrayal. I think we grab... Ooh. The South Sea Deckhand did a good job for us last time, but I don't know when I'll get another Assassinate. Apparently I'll get another one right there. We'll grab an Ogre. Oh my gosh. Do we get Deathwing? What's the chances that we need him? Black Knight is actually pretty good. There's some pretty badass taunt creatures that are awesome. Harrison Jones... Uh, three classes where he's good, otherwise he's a subpar five. But Deathwing... But Deathwing never helps. He always will ruin games. I'm never gonna play with Deathwing again. Um, Knife Juggler is better than those two. Deadly Poison is awesome. Vanish is not so great. Um, between the Wolf Rider and the Reckless Rocketeer, I'll grab the Wolf Rider. Leopard Gnome or Boulder Fist? Ogre's so good. Leopard Gnome's a pretty aggressive one drop, though. Why not? I don't know if I'll get a better one drop. Uh, dire Wolf over Conceal, I think, is the right choice here. Another Tazdingo. Flesh Eating or Betrayal? How many threes do I have? Really only two. Flesh Eating is pretty good, too. We'll grab a Flesh Eating Bowl. Dark Iron. I think we have to go with Dark Iron. Well, Assassin's Blade is a really good. But Dark Iron. We'll go, we'll go with Dark Iron. Loot Hoarder. Mm, we're low on five, so we'll grab the Fen Creeper. Oh my gosh, Stampeding Kodo is great. Second Knife Juggler could also be really good, though. Double Knife Juggler. And I'm glad I chose to do that. Uh, between We have a lot of lower drops, so I think the Frost Wolf Warlord... Well, do I think that those things are going to stay alive that long? Probably not, so I think the Venture Co is a better choice. Spike the Smith. Very good card for Rogue. Shiv or Fairy Dragon? I am lacking some removal. Eh, I like the Fairy Dragon. Ouch. Um, abuse of Sergeant over those garbage cards. This isn't great. <laughs> Both of these are worthless. Harvest Golem, however, is not worthless. We only have one Assassinate. Um, I'm okay with that. Squire wouldn't be too bad. It lets me get rid of three twos from the get-go. Um, assassinate over those cards. Another Imp Master? Maybe. Master Swordsmith. I really have no early way of protecting the Swordsmith is my concern. And the Imp Master synergizes well with my two knife jugglers. That could be pretty funny and silly. And mind control deck. Valera versus Uther. All right, we'll start I with will Paladin. Fight with honor. Watch your back. We have enough earlier. Well, do I want to keep the betrayal? It's unlikely I'll need it right away. Could be a better starting hand. I am a little bit concerned about that. Put this apple on your head. There we go. What you want? That's not a bad answer to it. But we will go ahead and play the dire wolf. I 
unfortunate. Which one will he choose to kill? He may choose to kill neither and coin out the Consecrate. So... I would do it. Kind of stinks to throw my knife juggler into it at that point, especially for such a low taunt, but it works. The alternative play there was to use daggers, but then I really don't gain any benefit from it. It, it wouldn't be using my mana efficiently. That's a good sword. That's unfortunate. I really don't want to use the Assassin's Blade because I have two one health creatures that I want to kill. I also don't want to put up a wolf rider right now. Here we go. Because he'll just throw his 2 1 into it. As much as I hate not using my mana, I think it's better to sit on it right now. I could have put up the mind control tech, but I think I can get better value for him later. he would have to both hit it with his sword and throw his tiger into it currently in order to kill it. Or buff the tiger with Blessing of Kings or something. Not a bad choice. Okay, that's sufficiently scary enough to assassinate. But I think that's worthwhile. And then I can Assassin's Blade or Wolf Rider next turn. Oh, well this sucks. down by a paladin. That's embarrassing. I think that works. A one and a half card advantage. Ugh. Does Dingo do go two for one there? And I am dead next turn probably engaging tc mental dislocation yeah i'm fucking dead anyway yeah that sucks you can do much when your opponent has a <laughs> two, trill, so two true silver champions and a consecrate in hand by turn seven though no 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 as amusing as it would ha be to have deathwing in my back pocket for the, the entire game i don't think it's worth it oh this is another garbage starting hand What can a warp do on turn two? Drain life. Worth the risk. For so many low cost creatures, we sure have gotten hands with a lot of high cost creatures in them. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Hate the Mad Bomber. Especially if he has a coin mortal coil. Good, he doesn't. 
better to lose the knife juggler, I think. It's too rare. Yeah, it's a 50-50 chance. And then he probably trades it with the knife juggler anyway. It's worth it. Yeah. Oh well. Unfortunately, I think I set him up for a mortal coil play here, but whatever. It was worth the chance. For the king. Good answer. I wouldn't have done it that way, though. Why could you leave that with two life? That's strange. Turn four, even Shadow Bolt won't be enough to kill that. So, yeah. Tadingo. Here we go. Yep. Two for one testing. Okay. I'm fine with that. I think we will go ahead and put out the Harvest Golem and knife up. That's such a bad card. Here we go. And we'll just keep picking away at him. Next turn, Dark Iron Dwarf. Your magic shall not save you. Okay. Um, Dark Iron Dwarf lets me trade for that. Okay. That is why that card is so awesome. And then we'll go Here ahead and we hit go. him and throw him out. You gonna actually use your uh <laughs> oh, oh there you go. Lost your Hellfire. Wasn't gonna help you anyway. So many portal though. I think Venture Co. is actually better here. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! And then here we'll actually we just keep go. plugging away at him. Because he has to deal with the Venture Co. and have a taunt, or he's dead. Not a bad way of dealing with it. That has to happen. Can't kill Spiteful Smith with just the other. So that is a better card. And the answer is we'll go ahead and replace the deck. Kill the blood imp. Do I really care to? Not really. For sake of just having stuff I on the field, the though. I will 
will fight with honor. Watch your back. This isn't a bad opening hand. We'll keep it. The fairy dragon's not a bad option to have. However, that's a much better turn one play. It's a lot better than doing nothing. The light protects me. Good answer. We will. I don't want to go two for one. Right? Lepernome did four damage. That's about the best you can ever hope for him. Four is a solid play. This is slightly better, I think. Here we go. If only because it puts another minion on the field. And it potentially lets me trade up the abuse of Sergeant Reporting next round if I choose to do it that way. the correct decision. Fen Creeper's high health is actually really beneficial here. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! That's worth assassinating. Way too much momentum if I don't. They are bend to my command. I wonder if that means he has a light's justice. Mind if I roll knee? That's a better location for this. Consecrate goes two for one, and then he kills my Fen Creeper. Unless he has something else that he kills. My ghoul. That is a terrifying ghoul. <laughs> I think you just realized what he did. <laughs> For shaman. For Doomhammer. Watch your back. It is not for Doomhammer at all. Mind control tech actually might be a good thing to hold on to. Shaman can flood the board with his totems. Lepernome's a great turn one play because I can start knocking down totems if he plays them. Greetings, friend. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> Greetings, I feel icky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amusing. Aw, oh, you bastard. Fine, I don't like you anyway. Put this apple on your head. What a good response to Leper Gnome. Holy crap. What the hell? What do you want? Okay. I like abusive here. It seems a little weird, but it trades up. And that'll be that. What you gonna get for totem? 
There you go. You got the best totem. Here we go. Normally I wouldn't throw that thing out there, but I have to play something, and I'd rather hold on to the mind control tech. He has better potential use. Me and Mr. Bite. Okay. Here we go. That's the right play there. Give another pair of knives. Hit him in the face. We'll play a little bit more cautious. I am concerned so far with the number of spells and how light, how easily he's just thrown them away. It makes me very nervous. Ugh. Good response. Oh my gosh, one more minion. That's all I need you to do. <laughs> Which I am absolutely going to do. Here we go. Well played. Once again, I'm gonna play it safe a little bit here. I don't know if that's the right call or not. One more minion, come on. Alright. Get in there and fight, maggot! Alright, mind control tech. It's your time to shine. Depending on what I grab, I might get an epic betrayal. Engaging TC-130. Until this I will take it. Well played. And then I will Here kill your ghoul. <laughs> betray your sergeant. And get my knives back. Job done. <laughs> And that is why I hold on to Mind Control Tech. Mind Control Tech OP. Yeah, that's a good answer to that. First things first. Creepers. Well, I really don't need the Fen Creeper right now, so I can I restore health. Well, better use of management, mana management. Creeper. And do I just want to go for his face? I kind of do. We go. I'll take out the one one. He can't kill the Fen Creeper. Better to do the damage. He may still have a hex. I hear you got a problem. You like my invention. I'm fine with that. Four, nine, twelve, thirteen. Can't quite kill him yet. So many. <laughs> If he gets a spell power totem and lightning storms, Tazdingo should still stay alive. Well played. Thank you. At least he's a very complimentary shaman.
9, 12, 15. Still can't outright kill him. Okay. Here we go. I'll let him keep the totem. We'll hold the knives back. Because realistically, if he gets a swamp, moves, I don't want to let him get 3D kills. There we go. And he's dead. Shaman double feature. Watch your back. Okay, not the same shaman. Turn one fairy dragon. Fairy dragon actually has some merit to it. Shouldn't be a problem. The reason it has merit is because you can't silence it. One one totem? Damn. Here we go. Better not to let him keep totems. made for this trade. Leaves me susceptible to lightning bolt though. He'll be incentivized to trade over that. I'd like to actually hold the Blood Knight. It's mm. There's a chance you get a Scarlet Crusader or a Sunwalker later. Here we go. If he had a Lightning Bolt, he would have played it alongside the uh, Worgen. Precisely. He could kill a Spiteful here, but if he does, he kills Venture Co. anyway. So he takes more damage, though, if he does it with Venture Co. He'd be less likely to do it with Venture Co. But that does mean that I am limited in what I can play next turn. I don't hold my daggers, because next turn I want to be able to play possibly my control back in the master. Take the three damage. And Ogre. Make him choose what's the dangerous creature to kill. Spiteful Smith is very situational, but when it is situationally good, oh man, awesome. There's the lightning bolt. He must have turned for drawn it recently. It's right for me. Okay. Time for value, Blood Knight. Glory to the Sindora. That is the only correct move. Loot hoarder to punish him for AoE. Mind if I roll me? Nice. Here we go. Unfortunately, I'm at risk of taking up to six this turn. I thought he might have a Sunwalker. It's a very popular card. It's a very good card. Of the king. Holy crap! Value Blood Knight. Nice.
he's unlikely to get enough of a board presence for mind control attack to be useful anymore. I wonder. That's just as susceptible to AoE anyway. I am not a morning. Here we go. Worth it. Two, three, four, five, six. Get in there and fight, maggot. Well, <laughs> 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 versus Rexa. I can work with a hunter. Let the hunt begin. Watch your back. Just don't make me just don't make me fight paladins. Um, do I keep this? Against a hunter, wolf rider... Doesn't do so hot. The harvest golem does great, though. And I like Sinjin. Deadly's a lot better than wolf rider. It's a potential double wolf rider. At the cost of my health. Still, that seems like a strange choice. I was going to do this anyway. I like mind control tech against a hunter, too. Blood Knight, not so much. Gosh, it's the card that Harvest Golem was made for. Next turn, four mana. We'll hold the knives in case he plays something with one health. We must cleanse the sun well. Dingo abuse a surgeon next turn, or if he floods the board by yeah. control. Careful about my health now facing a hunter. I can't let it get that low. He'll just start shooting me. X marks the spot. That's not a bad answer. What's two more damage? I'd rather hold on to the Kazdingo as a surprise taunt wall. Oh good, he had to use that without having a beast on the field. That is absolutely in my favor. And that's a perfect counter. Aww. There we go. I just had to make a move, I guess. Oh no, another paladin. I will fight with honor. I think my win streak has come to an end. We'll keep the loot. Actually, if I were to keep one, I would keep the loot hoarder. And ditch the dire wolf. And hope for a three. 
Not great. Mind control tech, not bad. I'm not a three I'm likely to play, but not bad. Mind if I roll me. Worst thing he could do is put out a harvest golem right now. Okay, I was wrong. The worst thing he could do is put out is put out a raging worgen. I'll take the three damage. Loot hooker, trade up. Actually, no. The harvest golem would have been worse. I would have taken four damage. I see your baron raise you. A troll. You're thinking awful hard about this, aren't you? Oh my gosh. How does that line from Yogg Saron go? You will betray your friends? Now, oh, whatever. Engaging TC until this Holy crap, I got the, great, the good one. Betray! Here we go. <laughs> go, go, mind control tech. Next turn can be ogre turn. You like those bears a lot, don't you? I personally don't see what you see in them, but that's okay. Okay, this. We'll put out the knife juggler next turn. True is my shame. And spiteful smith. Blood knight would be nice here. That is better. God, that is such a good assassinate target. I am slightly overextending here, but I think that's okay. Knife some once. Consecrate kills nothing. Valera versus Garrosh. Oh boy. Victory or death. Watch your back. Let's put Deathwing back. We'll keep the Arkham Squire. The Squire is actually very good against a warrior, just in case of a turn two Winax. To borrow a term from Trump. Urgent Squire shows her value. Let's you go. Here we Let's go. you take out three twos. We can potentially turn three Imp Master, depending on what he plays here. Whoa. Oh, I have not a morning person. Next turn can be Knife Juggler and Loot Quarter, or Tazdingo. We held on to the knives in case he plays something with one health that I want to kill. Wow, you really hate my Imp Master. Okay then. Loot Hoarder's the right call here. It punishes him for AoE. We hold on to the knives for the same reason as last turn. I have a 5 mana play. I don't have a... 
Perfect. That was an error. Mm -hmm. Now, if I get lucky here. Alternatively, you can cleave and try to see if you can kill the Sinjin. Okay. Having no having low creatures on the field, you could have Brawl. Playing around Brawl though feels like I'm being a little paranoid. I might actually even kill your tiger. I have to take the shot. Put this apple on your head. Oh my gosh. Yes! Thanks. That's your best play, huh? Three, six, nine, eleven. Well, you're not dead this turn. What's spiteful? Let's see what the knights did. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we go. He still does his damage. There we go. I think that's probably it. There we go. Another paladin, and we're at seven wins, which means he probably has a pretty good deck himself at this point. We are going to keep that blood knight, but we're going to throw back the. Well, we'll keep the tech. We'll keep the blood knight. Both of them have potential options against a paladin, but I'm going to have to choose which one of them I throw out there. Okay. But I think both of them have potentially good options here. The light protects me. Oh boy. Yep. Okay. We are going to choose to do nothing this turn. Reporting for duty. Any play other than doing nothing that turn was a mistake. Bide our time. Here we go. Let it be a natural turn three so that on turn four I can pump out the Fen Creeper to protect the 6-6. Six, six. Myrtle, Myrtle, Myrtle. Sad if that's the secret that reduces me to one. It is not. Here we go. Get down. Get down. That's fine. That is a fine use of daggers, is to get rid of a get down. It is essentially a one mana deal two damage. So arcane shot. Yeah. Basically, it's arcane shot. Okay. That is a fair way to do that. And mind control tech time. Engaging TC oh my gosh. Here we go. For Lorthamar. Way too much damage potential to waste on a 1 1. Mind control tech value is so high right now. Those two cards are doing so much work for me. That's great. Nope. You just don't know what to do about it.
That's the terrifying thing about mind control tech. It just completely changes the flow of the game. It didn't even kill the Blood Knight. The victory. Ow, oh, I'll just quit. That's fine. Awesome. Meiji time. I realize I used the word time too much. Keep trying to work on that. Going first, though, it will change a little bit how I approach this. I'll definitely get rid of that. He would have to coin and shoot the leper gnome. And if he does... Uh-oh. <laughs> Deathwing, no, you're taking up my hand. Please don't let this be an... Please don't let this be a sign of what to expect in this game. Against a mage of all things. Hello. I'll say hi. The pleasure is mine. In my own way. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Okay. Leprechaun trade up. Amani actually is a very good turn one play. Just typically not if your opponent has anything on the field. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. And then you have the annoying occasion when your opponent <laughs> has two of them. Loot hoarder doesn't help me here. Knife juggler does. Put this apple on your head. Next turn, I have nothing unless I draw it. Here we go. So we will go ahead and punch him once. Because I can knife and loot hoarder if I need to. I don't really have that many four cost creatures in the deck, so I think it's a good gamble. Straight trade. Those are pretty good. Loot Hoarder here is just a sacrifice to get me cards. Here we go. For not having many of these five plus cards, I sure do have a lot of them in my hand. That's a problem. Because I am going to quickly run out of things to do. Spiteful next turn, though. Because he won't have a crazy creature to play. Yeah, Spiteful's good here. We'll hold on to the knife because next turn's Ogre. And if he chooses to do something where I can't use my knives effectively, or if he plays something that I can use my knives effectively, then I'm flesh eating instead. Okay, you're going to ignore it. That's good placement for that. Okay. I do waste one damage to do it this way. Hmm. I think I'm okay with wasting one damage. Here we go. Not being able to target that thing with spells right now is actually very bad for me. What's my worst case here? Holy crap, you're going straight for me. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay. One man, one health things against a major worthless anyway. What's the nightmare? Double fireball. If he puts out a big scary taunt, I assassinate it, I still kill him. Your magic shall not see. Okay. That was a good option. If he's sitting on a double fireball, there is nothing I can do to, to kill him faster than this. Hmm. The 
only thing that can kill me right now is two fireballs. God, I hope he doesn't have it. Damn it! I couldn't play that any better. That's just horrible, horrible luck. Valera versus Valera. I take that back. There is one thing I could have done different there. If I had Wolf Rider him, I would have won. But that would have required me to have read his mind. Oh, hold on to that. That stinks. If I have Wolf, if I would have Wolf Ridered him and gone very, very aggressive at the end there, he wouldn't have had enough. He would not have been able to get to turn eight. He may think I have lower cost creatures than I do by doing that. And it's still a 3-2 that he won't be able to kill this turn. He'd have to knife it twice. Good. We're going to play it safe. Next turn is... 3 mana. Here we go. I won't need to use those turners. Hmm. Come on, Scarlet Crusader. For the crusade! Yes! <laughs> there are times when plays just work out so well you can't even... Uh, the journey would have been for the knife juggler to kill it. I also just realized now staring at the Deathwing in my hand that last game saying that Deathwing I hope you're not ominous in a portent of things to come was wrong. Damn it, Deathwing. Hmm. Incidentally, I had amazing board control last game, and Deathwing was irrelevant. Yep. Also, yep. And take six damage to the face. Decent way to deal with it, but he had to burn a lot of cards to make that work. I would like to harvest here, but Kazdingo is better. He never did nothing to you. Why do you have to go and do that? That's a pretty good play. Mine's better. I have assassinate too. <laughs> Join or die or both. I have a card advantage, I need to keep it. That's pretty good. And then you'll throw the raptor into it. That's very telling. Engaging TC one thirty into this locator. Alternatively, I fen creeper loot hoarder, and then next turn I'll assassin's blade. Harvest gone. But he can sap it. He would not have been able to sap my assassin's blade. That is that is true. Oh, value coder. Code is not that scary. Yeah. That's a given. This lets me kill the mind control tech right away. At the cost of potentially 6 HP. I'm okay with that though. Fen Creeper or Tazdingo are options next turn. Tazdingo is the option next turn so that I can assassinate that thing. 
back up. That's sensible. Control. My eyes are open. Mm -hmm. My eyes are open. Solid. Very solid. Here we go. Already attacked. Fin creeper? Yeah. Even if he top decks a betrayal, this is still okay. That means he can't kill Tazdingo with a betrayal, and he can't kill the Fen creeper with a betrayal. Okay. Yeah. Alright, with that. I think this is the first Warlock I've played in a long time. Watch your back. We definitely get rid of these and the Ogre for now. I will keep the Blood Knight though, just in case he does have a Scarlet Crusader or an Argent Squire. Maybe I should have gotten rid of the Blood Knight with those hand, those cards. Ouch. I'm going to be pretty susceptible to an early rush. I'll go ahead and wait. Coin will probably be more useful for a turn three singing. <laughs> time for a little blood. Okay, it will almost only be useful for a turn three Sengen. That's what to wait. We go. What do I have for turn four? Enough answers. Tadingo! Yes! Tadingo! Yes! Okay. Abuse is absolutely the play here. Pushing. Get in there! Abuse of Sergeant. There we go. Next turn is five mana. Here we go. <clears throat> it's important to get the Warlock's health down as fast as I can so that he can't take advantage of his hero power anymore. Or if he chooses to, to put him at great risk to do so. The king. Good answer. Ouch. I'm going to take five anyway. So we we'll, may as well be on my terms. Mind if I roll Here me. we go. Job done. Right. That's unfortunate. He has way too much health for Are turn six. Ready for this? Enough. I get my daggers back. 
He won't flood the what board. We do. Okay. Not like that, he won't. So be it. I am the blade of the gods. That's what I can do right now. Here we go. Wanna blow something up? Uh, okay. No. Let the pain speak to me. He will get one cut out of that. I'm okay with that. You gotta be kidding me! That was a mistake. Here we go. I did that in the wrong order. Whoops. And I will not attack his Acolyte of Pain. He'll have to throw it into me to get me to actually attack it. Oh my gosh, my control tech. There we go. That's a good card to have with... Ugh. That's a good card to have with the Acolyte of Pain. That's fine. The reason to use the Archon Squire is in case he has Demon Flame, in which case he can't kill an imp with Demon Flame because it's a demon. My real question is, does he have an answer for Deathwing? It's worth risking here. here. We go. If he taps, I know he has no answer. What did you get? Deathwing, you won a game for me! Can't expect Deathwing to do any better than win me a single game. That was that was Deathwing's one redeeming moment. All right, I'm against a Druid. Um, the Ogre Magi gives me a nice two, three, four turn play, but I don't really want to play Blood Knight on turn three. But I will keep him around because there's lots of turn three plays that I might want to play. The Wolf Rider is a much better turn three play for me. Not great, because it's a druid and he'll just kill it in the next turn. But, you know, acceptable. If he puts out a minion, I might knife. If he does not, I will probably knife juggle. Put this apple on your head. No. It's 
worth losing it and see if he throws out something I can use it on, but... Two for two. I've arguably made the right decision. Otherwise, he hero powers to get rid of it, sacrifices some health. Ugh. Okay. That sucks. Here we go. And no, I'm not even gonna screw around with that. I'm just gonna deal with it. There's only very few ways you can deal one damage to your own worgen. But I'm not gonna let you make that thing any scarier. If he had a news, he would not have played it on turn two. Because he had power of the wild. Yeah, okay. Very aggressive druid. I am gonna go ahead and do Venture Code though. You gotta be kidding me. Here we I'm go. just gonna hit him. I may only have one of them in the deck, but it has so many charges. Okay. Say for sure you did your job. Here we go. Hold on to the abusive because it will just get killed by a hero power. Behold the might of storm wind. Smith attack dog. They are men who I come out. Here we go. Kill that. Do you call that a weapon? Okay. Oh boy. Right into the spikes. Okay, Beast of Sergeant, you are going to earn your keep. Get in there, fight, maggot. Oh, Here we go. All right, and you're top decking. That is exactly where I want to be. Although having another card other than Deathwing and Betrayal in my hand might be nice. What you look uh-oh. That's a good card. The light protects Nothing me. I can do other than just go for space. Here we go. Obviously he can kill Pez Dingo next turn. I am not a morning person. Yep. Oh, Fan Creeper, thank you. Here we go. 
You will have to give up your ogre to kill my fang creeper. Draws a card. Puts him at fourteen. What's the chances he top decks something to deal with Deathwing? Low. I have more cards. I don't know what else to do. My thanks. Play? To Northrend. He buys himself one more turn. still win, but it's getting very unlikely. Deathwing wins me another game. Two in a row, even? Holy crap. Oh, very honorable. Oh my gosh. 11 and 2. This is it. The final game. If you pick Scarlet Crusader, which is a very popular pick, Blood Knight becomes amazing. Harvest Golem's a great turn. You know what? This is good enough. This is a good first hand. We've got one minion, two support, more or less. 
awesome. The light protects me. I maybe should have saved that to coordinate with the Blood Knight. What is the chance he can get anything other than Pain's shield off? I'm gonna take that chance. The thing is, it doesn't get him anywhere if he does. Damn. That's a good turn for him. I'd rather not. Put the chapel on your head. I fight. Here we go. That's not a bad choice. likely to get mileage out of the mind control tech rather than the blood knight at this point I think. Yeah. Fem Creeper survives flame strike. Strike next turn. He has a lot of cards, though. Makes me a little nervous. Also, he could have my control tech. But he does not, because he has a fire wall. <sighs> Better that he chose to do that instead. Given the situation, I think we will go ahead and wolf right at this end. And I will. I'm getting too low on health for facing a mage. So I think that was the right call. It also makes it less likely for him to want to AoE because he won't get very good value out of it. Boy, you have a lot of spell things in your deck. That's better. He is more likely to have to deal with that because of how dangerous it is. At the very least, it might attract one more fireball. Well played. Get in there and fight, man. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I was dead anyway. So close. So close to 12, first 12 wins. <sighs> oh well. Leave it to a mage. Well, decent amount of money and a unbo golden unbound elemental. Too bad it's golden common. And 
pretty junk pack. Oh well. That was fun. Almost. Very, very close. We're slowly getting better. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a long one, but I hope it was okay. Um, leave a like, comment, favorite, anything you'd like to do to, to give me feedback and let me keep going. I've been Corey, and I'm an Arena Junkie, and I'll catch you guys next time.